Danielle, correspondent for the Los Angeles Sentinel newspaper, and we're here today at the SAG and AFTRA headquarters for an exciting initiative that's kicking off in 2017 with the White House, SAG, AFTRA, and the Entertainment Industry College Outreach Program. I'm here right now with David Johns. He's the executive director of White House Initiative on Educational Excellence for African Americans. So what better way to talk about HBCUs than with David Johns? Hey, David. Hey, thank you for having me. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about, since this is all about careers, tell us a little bit about your position and what you do at the White House. Yeah, I appreciate the question. I lead the newest of six initiatives established by President Obama to support closing opportunity and achievement gaps. The oldest of those initiatives is the White House Initiative on Historically Black Colleges and Universities, which was established under President Carter. But the initiative that I lead is, again, the newest one and the only one established by President Obama. So we exist to close both opportunity gaps and achievement gaps. We do that by centering the experiences of young people um, and enlisting them as experts as we design solutions to, to meet their needs and to help them be college and career ready. Uh, we work with individuals and organizations like SAF, AFRA, like many of the historically black colleges and universities represented within this partnership to ensure that all of our students have the cognitive, social, and emotional support that they need in order to thrive. Okay, now one of the initiatives that we're excited about here in Los Angeles is the My Brother's Keeper Initiative. So tell us how that folds into this initiative. I appreciate that. So the president established the My Brother's Keeper Initiative in 2012 to ensure that we were um, no longer uh, unaffected by the fact that uh, on most quality life indicator ladders, boys and men of color are at the lowest rungs, right? Uh, the president talked about in the West Wing of the White House, I'll never forget the fact that there are too many young boys of color who were not reading on grade level in the third grade, right? The, 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 the time that's most critical from transitioning from learning to read to a reading to learn, right? Um, he talked about the fact that there are still not enough black men or boys who are present or, or have relationships with their fathers inside the home, right? That's not to discount the fact that black men still have significant relationships even when they're not co-parenting with, with the children's mothers, but that there's work to be done to ensure that we are better in terms of showing up for our students in the ways that they deserve. Um, so that initiative works with more than 130 cities at this point who have accepted the Remember This Keeper Challenge, as well as with organizations like the NBA, um, Essence Care, Susan Taylor's mentoring organization to try and fill critical gaps. That organization, our program, also supports the White House Council on Women and Girls, which was established first term uh, in the first year of the administration to ensure that we were also uh, mindful of the fact that there are significant challenge that face women and girls. For example, many people are familiar with the fact that for every one white male who's suspended or expelled between kindergarten and 12th grade, the rate is three times that for black men and boys. However, sometimes we forget because the national narrative is that black women are saving the world, right? Showing up like Olivia Pope being gladiators for everybody, that that rate for every one white girl who's suspended or expelled kindergarten through 12th grade is actually six times higher for black women and girls. So there's a lot of work to be done and, and we need to be mindful that as we're our brother's keeper, we also have to be our sister supporter and remember that we have kids that don't fit comfortably in either of those categories as well. I love that, my sister supporter. So last question to the viewer out there that's watching, that's interested in this program or, you know, sitting on the fence, like, tell them why they should get involved or be interested. Yeah, I think every caring and concerned adult should understand that we have a responsibility and obligation to show up in the lives of young people. Some of us do that by becoming credentialed educators and doing God's work by showing up and teaching in classrooms, but those of us who are not called to do that work, we have to be clear. Sometimes people say silly things like teaching is a rocket science. They're right. It's a lot harder. I taught kindergarten to third grade in, in Harlem, New York. I know that that's true, but we can all show up and help a young person um, identify their passion or, or make critical connections and think about the ways that they want to show up in their professional life, right? And so I would compel anybody who's unsure to just ask themselves uh, how they can show up and be that for a young person that they wished an adult showed up in their life. Okay, you guys have social media information you want to Yeah, you can follow the White House Initiative on Historically Black Colleges and Universities um, on Twitter. They also have a Facebook page. You can follow the White House Initiative on Educational Excellence as well. We're official at FAM Ed. I am Mr. David Johns. Uh, again, just thank, thankful for the send off from Inglewood, California, so it's good to be home. <laughs> All right, and you can learn more about this program. Just keep up with the LASentinel.net.